Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I quickly wanted to show you how to get cloned to a specific directory. So I'm going to start off just by cloning a regular repository. I've got my GitLab repository right here, and there's the HTTP URL. You can find the same URL on GitHub or Bitbucket, whatever you choose. Just get your URL, and I'm going to do a git clone, paste that directory in there provide my credentials and it's cloned. And you can see that it's created a directory here that's exactly the same as the name of the repository. And if I CD into it, you can see that I've got all my files in there, feature home, master, feature home. Actually, that's the develop branch. You can see the master branch there because that's got the master file on it. Okay, so that's all working swimmingly. I'm gonna move out of there and I'm gonna just remove that directory. Actually, I don't even need to remove that directory. I'm going to close this window and just open up a new one, just so it's nice and clean. And I'm going to do the git clone command, but I'm going to specify a different directory. I'm going to specify I want this to be cloned into my directory. Provide credentials, provide password, and now when I do the ls command, you can see that it's been put into my directory. And so I didn't even have to use a switch there. It's not like I had to do dash d, I didn't have to do dash dash directory. Just specify the name of the directory after the git clone command, and it creates that directory for me. If I want a cd in there, ls, you can see all the same files. And that's all there is to it. If you got time, follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and come over to the serverside.com. We got lots of tutorials on Git, GitHub, and everything that it has to do with server-side development.